How did people first travel? They strolled. Before, individuals knew about some other method for voyaging. They utilized what nature gave them to move starting with one spot then on to the next, their feet. In any case, foot travel was slow. At the point when individuals needed to go significant distances, they needed to go through weeks, months, or even years. Why did people use animals for travel? Enormous creatures, for example, donkeys and camels, are sufficiently able to convey individuals on their backs. What's more, they don't tire as fast as individuals. So, when everyone began to ride creatures, they had the option to travel significant distances more rapidly than previously. They were likewise ready to get to where they were doing without turning out to be so drained. How did people first carry things? Individuals previously conveyed things in their arms on their backs, they actually do. They additionally balance things on their heads. Be that as it may, arms, backs, and heads can convey just lightweight burdens. Individuals rapidly tire from their weights. So, around quite a while back, they started to tame creatures to convey things. What animals have people used to carry things? Individuals have utilized areas of strength for whatever to tame creatures they have tracked down living in their territories. They actually utilize these pack animals for conveying things and for pulling trucks, carts, and sleds. In the desert grounds of Egypt and Syria, individuals use bulls, jackasses, and camels. Camels are particularly really great for desert travel. Deserts are dry. Camels can go for significant stretches without water. Reindeer are great for individuals of frigid Lapland. Reindeer move rapidly in snow and can convey as much as 300 pounds. Llamas are great hikers. They convey things for the Indians of Peru in the Andes Mountains. Individuals of old Iran were quick to tame ponies. Ponies can move quicker for a more drawn out time frame than any remaining creatures. In India, elephants convey loads on their backs and surprisingly in their trunks. Eskimos close to the North Pole train canines to pull sleds and convey light loads. What did the American Indians use to carry supplies? Numerous Native Americans used to travoy to convey things. It was made of two long shafts was joined to a creature, the base, and hauled along the ground. The Indians tied their provisions to the shafts. For the vast majority years, they utilized a canine to pull the travoy. In any case, after European pioneers carried ponies to America, the Indians utilized a pony all things 
considered. How did Roman emperors travel? The heads and the rich individuals of Rome were continued litters. A litter is a lounge chair on two posts. Four slaves conveyed it on their shoulders, while the slaves strolled with their hip. The traveler relaxed on the love seat. There were such countless litters that they caused genuine gridlocks in old Rome. Did people ever use sleds without snow? Indeed, they did. They actually do. The sledge was perhaps of the earliest vehicle protests that convey individuals or things starting with one spot then on to the next. At initial, a sledge was only a level piece of wood hauled along the ground. Then, individuals added wooden sprinters to it. These were similar as the metal sprinters on a cutting-edge snow sled. Bulls and conceivably different creatures pulled the sledges. What good were sledges? Early individuals found that an article moved along the ground more effectively with sprinters under it than without them. Afterward, individuals found that wheels made development considerably more straightforward. Yet, sprinters work better compared to wheels in sand and in swamps. Wheels sink into sand. They stall out in bogs and swamps. Sprinters don't really. Along these lines, individuals in Lapland actually utilize horse attracted sledges to convey rough edge over damp regions. <laughs>